Today we will see how to reverse a string in place. That is, we are not allowed to use any extra space. So we are given a string and it's given in the form of an array of characters and we have to arrive at its reverse. So if you see H E L L O, its reverse is, if you read it in reverse direction, it will be the same word H E L L O. So how can we do this without using any extra space? So let's see. This diagram itself will give you some idea how we will do it. So we are moving this to here and the first one to last, last one to first, second last to second, second to second last and so on till we meet at a point. So how we will do that? This is our input string and we will keep two pointers. One will be in the beginning. So let's call it P1. P1 is here. P2 is here. So P1 is pointing to H, P2 is pointing to O. So we will swap the values contained pointed by those two pointers. So P1 is here at the moment, P2 is here. This is the same string as I am not writing the intermediate characters. So after swapping O will come here, H will come here. Then we will do after swapping we will increment the P by 1. So P1 becomes p1 plus 1 and this p2 becomes p2 minus 1. So once we have swapped it p1 will come here that is here p2 comes here p1 comes here now they are pointing to e and l so let's swap them now it becomes l and e and again do the same thing advance p1 by 1 and P2 uh, shift left by 1. Now they have come at a common point. So there is no uh, meaning of swapping. If both are pointing to the same character, if, whether we swap it or not, it will remain same. And then we, if we advance further, this P2 becomes less than P1. So we will stop in this case. So let's write the code for this in C++. It's very simple and we will write it in C++, Java and Python all. So first index is left. We will, it will start from 0. Right index will be s dot size minus 1 and while left is less than right we will keep swapping them. You can also use the inbuilt swap function but let's use the general way of swapping store one of the variables in temp then s left equal to s right so now right is holding the value of left is holding the value of right and right is also holding the value of right so the value of left which is now lost was already saved in tmp and s dot right equal to tmp that is the earlier value of left now left we have to advance by one we can do it here as as well and right we have to finally decrement so we can do it here and we are done we don't need to return anything we have to just this is passed by reference so it will get this uh, input will itself get changed and we have not used any extra memory and let's submit and the solution is accepted so we are around here around around the main distribution now let's write the same thing in, in java i don't think there would be much change apart from this size thing instead of size we would be calling length and all these operations will work in java as well and the solution is accepted in java and here uh, it's showing close to 100 percent better than 100 percent runtime is 0 millisecond 
so it's running faster than that C++ solution now let's write this same thing in Python that plus plus and minus minus is not valid in python so we have used this you can also use uh, in one sort that is s left comma s right equal to s right comma s left and this is the preferred way of doing swap in python but let's stick to what we have done in java and c plus plus and the solution is accepted in python as well so i hope uh, you liked the problem it was a simple problem of uh, doing swap of characters and nothing more than that